Before every ride. Better measure your rims less than five mils off center. Better follow wires unfrayed to a battery unfazed by electrolyte fade. Every bolt is torqued, every wheel is jacked before every ride. I propose a pre-ride check that takes 90 seconds on the fly. Allow me four minutes to describe. T-clocks. What the hawk is a T-clock? Just remember A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Air, bars, controls, drive, earth, fasteners, guy. Or gal. Air. Pressure. Now after that, I just have to finish using my tool. Tread depth in the green. And this metal should go ping, ping, ping all the way around my spokes. Thud means dud. And while I'm listening around the circumference, I'm looking for any chunking or bulging nonsense. And those with alloys should use just their eyes because the ping trick won't work. Bars. And I'm done. If my front brake were broke, I'd have rolled. If my back were bust, I'd have reversed. If my suspension were screwed up, this movement would not feel uniform. If my axle or head bearings were junk, I'd have felt them clunk. And meanwhile, I've gone from lock to lock, never feeling a cable snag or seeing the throttle drag open. Two smooth movements here preclude umpteen cents. Control's the only check I won't condense. Lights high, lights dip, indicators, and the brakes are lit, the levers are smooth, clutch two, throttle closes. Now here I'm the same as T-clocks, minus housings and hydraulics. It's better to remove panels and do a complete hose check monthly than a half-ass job daily. Drive. A chain needs a cheater's reference. My flashlight is 1.5 inches wide, so that's slack and it feels slick. No missing or malformed teeth. Down beneath, it really helps to have a light to see cracks, especially if your drive is a belt that's black. Next, earth. There's no need to scan the entire earth. The bit under your motorcycle will be fine. If there's no fluids there, they're probably still in here. Oil, gas, coolant, shaft brake, transmission fluid. You know what you've got, and you know how long it takes to sight or dip test that shit. You should, sometimes, but for every time, I see that my motorcycle hasn't wet itself, presume the best of health, and move on. Move on in a fireball of engine-seizing, brakeless mayhem, maybe. Live a little. A, B, C, D, E, F, fastener. If you're immortal, then take the time to torque every bolt. If you're almighty, just feel for fastness. But otherwise, I'll put a dot on the edge of every critical bolt. I can scan them all at a glance. Separated white marks means the bolt has migrated. Also, scan the frame where the frame is fastened. Failures occur at welds. In the crack of a hairline, the patch of paint lifted under stress can make the difference between mint motorcycle and death trap write off. Checking the entire frame is a mechanic's pipe dream, but we can all flash the welds. Last guy is this guy. See him through tightened and adjusted mirrors. Is he tired or drunk or angry? Does anyone know where he's going? Is his phone charged? That's your pre-ride check in four minutes. Now we'll get it done in one and a half. Air, pressure, tread, ping, ping, ping around the wheel. Just use your tool in every possible way. Move on. Bars. Oh, I don't really remember all the things that could fail here. Doesn't matter. If any of those things do fail, the right movement will feel wrong. Controls, takes a little while to get all these focus points. Levers all feel smooth. Throttle snaps back. Thank heavens we're not checking hoses too. D for drive, chain slack, measures up beside the flashlight. Sprocket looks good under it. And earth. Everything looks dry. Even in the rain, we could check for rainbows. Good enough. Bluetooth. F fasteners. I see complete circles. 
No semicircles. I see welds, unfractured, and paint undisturbed. And I see this guy, and tightly, clearly, and he looks ready to ride. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Air bars, controls drive, earth fasteners, guy. In no way an exhaustive inspection, but the safety check that is doable is formidable. Thanks.